Hi, good morning, everyone. Louis Borsalino, this is Man Over Market, and today is February 4th, and this is your morning call. All right, so this is the day profile. I know, broken record, here we are. We closed, uh, we've had one close now above this 27 area, which is the 50% uh, retracement uh, from uh, the December 16th low of, uh, um, was it 1961, 19,061, and then the all time high. Uh, up at uh, 20, 20,088 or okay all right so uh, you know we've got we've had you know two uh, big days we've moved up um, with not a lot of retracement which is also you know that concerns me when we don't have a lot of retracement and um, looks like we may could go back and visit and fill in stuff on the bottom here's your overnight profile this looks unfinished, this top up here, but unfinished tops can stay there for a while. We had a high of uh, 2043, so we didn't take the day high out yesterday. We've had a low of 2033. And to me, when you look at this bottom, this bottom is unfinished also. You see these single prints down here? So, I know, I know. Same old story with me. I, uh, you know, yesterday had a negative bias. Uh, we did break on the opening. Uh, we covered them. We never violated the five-minute pivot, and it stayed intact all day. So for today, uh, I still have the negative bias. Um, looking for recent retracement. Our bull bear zone is up here at 20.41 half. Okay, we got the top of value at 20.38 and a quarter, basically, right here. All right, 20, 30 and a quarter is the point of control. That means most volume traded there. And 20, 25, 75 is the uh, bottom of value. We're already trading inside value. We'd have to move outside value, get above the bull bear zone to keep going on the upside. And if we stay in value and move through it in this way, then we have to get out of the bottom to continue going down. This is a 30-minute chart. I wanted to put it up so I can uh, uh, indicate where the shaded area in the morning. It takes a while. You can see the 30-minute pivots up above us. So it went into a cell. Actually, went into a cell just this morning about 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, so if we look at the five-minute pivot, let's take a look at the five. So you won't be able to see the. Okay, so the five-minute pivot's up above us at 20, 40, 46. Remember, this is dynamic, and it moves. So as it moves, I will tell you, uh, keep you informed on Twitter, on the movement. Looking at the 15-minute um, pivot also, um, actually, let me see. 15-minute pivot also is in a cell, and it went at 6 a.m. this morning. Looking at the... Uh, NASDAQ, Russell, and Dow, their five-minute pivots are in cells. So a uh, little downward pressure on the opening. We'll have to see if the, if the robots want to step in, as they did yesterday. The bots were out, and they were out in force. Okay, uh, that's what I got in S&Ps, negative bias, looking for some retracements based on what we've done over the last two days. Uh, stay in touch with me on Twitter, and I will give you updates as we move further. All right, oil. Oil uh, has made a 10 buck move in the last five to eight days. And, you know, I think anybody who's been trading these markets for a long time would understand what's happening. So, you know, we had a little bit of a actually profit taking and went back and filled in those, uh, those uh, gaps that we talked about, all right? So oil right now currently is sitting at 50.43 is the bull bear. I mean, I'm sorry, 50.43 is the top of value. 53 bucks is going to be the point of control. And I put our bull bear zone at 52.15 and we're trading underneath it now. So, well, it's going to have to be if oil makes a move out of the bottom of value and keeps going down. That's going to be the key. So, 52.15, 53 is a point of control 
and then it has to get up over the top of value of 53.43. Bottom of value is 50.93. 50.93. Okay. All right. Now let's go to let's go to gold. So uh, remember, I told you that we were uh, negative on gold, and I'm sorry, I'm negative on oil today. Uh, we we're negative on gold. Uh, that that position got covered overnight, and we're looking at uh, the top value of uh, one thousand two seventy seven ninety. The bottom at one thousand two hundred and fifty nine dollars and thirty cents. We have our bull bear zone at one thousand two sixty four half. I'm in a neutral right now as far as gold is concerned, um, uh, leaning towards. Uh, uh, still selling rallies, but a, a neutral position. Uh, you can see the 15-minute went to a buy here. So I got a neutral bias on gold, but if you're trading it, um, uh, it's going to make, you know, it's it's reacting to w what's uh, sort of the opposite moves that the oil and the stock markets are making. All right, bonds. Bonds got whacked a little bit yesterday, and they're still getting whacked, and I think because the Fed, the Fed, you know, look, you got a 1.87 yield. Um, the rest of the world is trying to put its mend its problems. I think there was a lot of profit taking up there at the 151.28 area. Uh, we're still in, still got some downward pressure in the bonds. Uh, I'll put the bull bear zone in the bonds at 149.01. The bottom of value of 149.03. 149.27 was the point of control, and the top at 149.10. So um, uh, right now, negative on bonds, and uh, some of the Fed governors yesterday spoke, and, uh, you know, they were, everybody's hoping there's some inflation in the market. I can remember back in the 80s when we had Billy Carter as president, that when Billy, I mean, that was his brother. He should have been president. No. So Jimmy Carter was president, and we had double-digit inflation and 18% interest rates. It's incredible that they want more inflation, so... I guess if there's inflation, that means people are getting paid more money and they're spending their money on stupid stuff. All right. All right. So let's go back. Just a uh, quick recap. All right. So uh, I'm looking for a retracement. Right now we're trading under the five-minute pivot. All the sisters are trading under the five-minute pivot. Um, we've gone straight up. And I guess the key is they're going to probably test that 2025 area where, uh, um, you know, we keep talking about that. I uh, keep putting this chart up. All right. Here's that ES. I drove the other way. So come on, I, I'm pretty sure we'll probably come back and test this area today. So um, stay in touch with me on Twitter. Also, I last night I put out a video talking about um, we look at long-term time frames um, also, uh, daily pivots, and I look at the daily pivots. I, you know, if you're swing trading and doing things like that, um, w I think we're what we're putting together on our charts to be able to look at a daily pivot. So I put a chart out today showing you the the daily pivot on the spider, the Q, the QQQ, and TLT, which is 20-year Treasury. So take a look at it. Uh, these are that's in, those are ETFs, and you're able to look at it, what 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 the daily pivot is. Now another thing is. Um, these pivots that uh, are developed have been a combination of a lot of people's work. What we've done is we've retrofitted the pivots to fit our needs and put different um, uh, settings on it that we believe are uh, uh, help us in our trading uh, uh, our trading efforts. And certainly, you know, we want to pass that knowledge on to you. Um, so, uh, and remember, this is only about price movement. So if you send me a stock and want to see what the daily pivot is, it's only telling you what's going on with price movement. We have no clue and making no uh, claims that because of the pivot, the market should go up or down. It's showing you where price movement is going up or down. I have no idea fundamentally what's going on in that stock and who, uh, I'll leave that up to the uh, Harvard MBAs to figure out why, why they want to buy or sell a stock. But uh, what we're telling you is where price and, and uh, price movement's gone from bullish to bearish. So that's what we're looking at. So if you want to see it, you could email us and uh, we'll throw it up uh, and I'll put up, I'll, I'll start putting up some uh, daily pivots and, um, you know, 
and we're going to try to put this all on toss eventually, just working out the logistics. All right, everybody, you have a good day trading. Follow me on Twitter, and uh, good luck. Bye.